magnets that we're using in these rails a one half inch by one inch neodymium N42 magnets. There's 50 magnets in, in each one of these pieces of wood right here. And the magnets are pulling on each other. They're attracting. They're all the same. So these would be, all be north. These would all be south faces. Um, they're a sixteenth of an inch apart up to the front of the blue car right here. And then they're an eighth of an inch apart the rest of the way. What I did was I compressed the end so it's different than um, the last video where you saw this one. Um, the, there's more magnets in the rails than the other video. This is a phenolic ball. You can see when I drop it on the wood, it rolls rather quickly downhill. There is a slope here of about three inches in four feet. This is lifted about three inches right here. This much. And here are the metal balls again. Just regular old chrome plated metal balls. And they are being pulled up a slope. This is out far out of level it is. You see the desk is level. Now it's level. The length of the fields are approximately 30 inches from where the magnets start to where the magnets end, and the rise is approximately 12 inches, I mean at one half inch at the 12 inch point right here, so at about the 24 inch mark we've got about an inch of space right here, so these magnets are out of parallel, one half inch in every 12 inches, or in every foot. When the space is reduced, the ball rolls faster but it doesn't hit as hard on the other side. It actually works out that the wider angle has more force when it gets to the end of the force field.
this kitty's name is Miss Lily. For Miss Tiger Lily. 